Welcome back to this Life uh, of Business, and uh, I'm delighted to be able to spend some time uh, with my good friend, one and only Charles Alvarez. He's with Cornerstone Business Academy, cornerstonebusinessacademy.com. He is uh, phenomenal what he does. I'm delighted to have him as a contributor on the program. He has been now for a long time, and uh, love the work that you do, love the consulting work you've done uh, for the price of business and the great success stories I hear from others. And uh, ironically, uh, you and Invited as a guest today, Troy Burwell, another price of business contributor, and so it's just like uh, it's like uh, media re- reunion time here on the price of business. And welcome to uh, both of you. Thank always, you. always good to be here, especially with Troy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, first of all, let's start off with um, you give your story for us real quick, Charles, before you jump into our conversation with Troy. Well, what we do is we work with uh, uh, CEOs, presidents of privately held companies and uh, who are basically struggling with getting their business from where it is now to where they want it to be. And our clients typically generate an additional $3 million of revenue in 21 months or less without adding a single resource. And uh, speaking of great resources, uh, and one who is really helping drive leads to, uh, to manufacturing companies and a lot of companies here in Houston is Troy Borrell. Troy, welcome to the show. Welcome. Appreciate it, Charles. So as we were talking prior to the show, you, you and I were talking about the Target situation, uh, which I thought we found it very interesting coming from a uh, technology professional as yourself. And uh, security continues to be a big issue these days. Kind of tell us about what people should be looking for when it comes to security and why it's so important, because we kind of take that for granted, security. Yeah. Well, when you're uh, looking for a website and security is a concern, whether you have people doing online applications or you're taking credit card payments or any kind of personal data like that, you need to know that whatever code is being created in the back end is being created specifically for you, and that the company who is doing that is security-minded and that they're taking all precautions to make sure that's locked up tight. So when you say to create uh, uh, code for you, I mean, what, what other option do I have? I mean, is it all code that they create for me? No, actually, a lot of companies will go out and they'll harvest free code off the, offline. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and who, knows, who knows what they uh, put in that free code? That's true, because there may be 10 or 20 different small applications that are all interdependent on one another. It could be you know millions of characters of code, and if you don't know what every one of those little characters do, uh, it's easy to open up a back door um, to have a... Uh, have code that would uh, send certain information back to a source, uh, you know. And if you don't develop that code yourself, or you, your developer isn't developing it specifically for you, it can really open up some bad problems. So, wow. so Go ahead, Charles. So tell us, Troy. I mean, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of web development companies in Houston. There's thousands. There's probably even thousands more across the United States. So people who want to do social media. You know, they think if they read a book on how to generate leads on Twitter that they're all automatically qualified to do this job. Uh, how difficult and how much do you really have to know to really not only create a website, but more importantly to drive traffic to that website so that you can get more leads? One of the first things that we think you need to know is you need to know about business itself. Yeah. You know, not just the technology that's out there, but how it works with the real business world and how – each company, even if they're in the same industry, have a different culture, and they need to be portrayed differently. Okay. Yeah. Let me ask a, a, a jump in real quick uh, with a co- couple of questions, because I've heard you talk about SEO, heard you talk about security and web development. You know, those are, seem to be your three core areas. What percentage of your time is spent in those three areas? Those three areas combined, probably about 60%. Okay. And then uh, beyond that, uh, what would be the rest of your time as far as business goes, the other 40%? We probably spend another 20% of the time in social media. Um, That's, you know, an ongoing growing effort, uh, especially as clients are starting to realize how different ways they can utilize that. Uh, It really becomes a big challenge in the B2B world. Um, Then, you know, the other 10% would be, Display ads, um, and even getting into some traditional media. Okay, very good. Go ahead, there, Charles. So, before you start working with a particular company that says, "Look, I want to, you know, use my website, social media to really 
drive tra- traffic to my business, not just my website, but to my business. Um, what are some of the things you do to make sure that, okay, uh, you know, to make sure that, hey, this is going to work for me? First thing we do is we put together a strategic media plan. We want, and we want to not only look at where we're going to be spending money and how we're going to be spending that money, but what's the return on investment we want on the back end. Mm-hmm. Uh, how's that going to make the cash register ring? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and those those uh, goals can be all over the map. If it's a B2B company that's wanting to have a presence on Facebook, it may be to show their culture and recruit new employees. It may may not have anything to do with driving sales. Most social media doesn't. It's more of a um, a long term investment. But you know, if, if you are showing a more personable um, view of your company to where you're reaching out to uh, some of the best recruits in different social media platforms, that can be a huge return on investment. Okay. So it sounds. Yep. Uh, got it. Got it. Getting near the end here. I do want to make sure we mention Troy's website. That's fourguys.com, correct? Correct. And that's the number four guys.com. And then you can, of course, reach Charles at uh, cornerstonebusinessacademy.com. Charles, go ahead and wrap it up with your final thoughts. So it seems to me, Troy, that based upon our conversation, it sounds to me like you are business people who happen to create websites and do social media and SEO instead of technical guys who just are trying to be businessmen. Is that correct? Correct. One of our biggest things is to grow our partners. Yeah. If if we help you build your business, we help drive revenue, um, help help you be a stronger and better company to begin with, you're never going to go anywhere else. Great. Yeah, very good stuff. Great uh, interaction as always. And uh, thanks to both of you gentlemen. Awesome stuff. Thank you. Thank you. All right, stay tuned to The Price Business. Do want to also remind you that the best content here shows up over there at usdatareview.com. I'm Kevin Price, and this is The Price of Business. Thank you.